how to actually use OpenAI in Excel. I haven't seen any tutorial for this, so I'm really excited. I think this is one of the most powerful things I've built in a while. So uh, we're in for a good one, check it out. So here's a quick demo. Clear columns one to 20, because I have some other stuff there from earlier. So you click the button and it's gonna run, it's generating a script and it's, um, cleared them, but also let's clear the color. Make color blank. Let's run that. All right, so we took away the color. So wow, we just, just like that dummy data generated. Anyway, how cool is that? We actually have Excel and OpenAI integrated in the true sense of like somebody looking this up, what they would actually want to do. So I'm now going to give you a tutorial on how to build this yourself. Let us get right into that. All right, so I'm gonna make a new blank workbook. First thing you wanna do is save this as a macro enabled. So you see I selected macro enabled. Go ahead and click save. All right, now that we generated that, we're gonna go into the developer tab and open up Visual Basic. All right, so we're gonna open up Visual Basic. We'll do new module. All right, the first module I'm making is this execute code which gets a code parameter, code passed into it. And essentially what this is going to do is if you pass in a string where it's like sub and then it has blah, blah, blah code and then end sub, it's going to run that as if it's VBA script. The one thing is the subroutine has to be titled my procedure because we wrote that here for the application run. So that's what this code is for. So it's when OpenAI generates the subroutine, it's going to be able to execute it. All right, so next thing is let's work on the OpenAI portion of this. All right, so right under that, I made a new uh, subroutine OpenAI prompt and we have our API key, we have, um, so put your API key, we have the URL, we're gonna be using 3.5 turbo, and uh, this is where we set the model, temperature, all that stuff, and this line is very important right here. So before we get the prompt, we have this uh, prefix, write a VBA script to do the following. Also, name your subroutine, my procedure. So remember, we have it set to my procedure here. And then we put the prompt, okay, of the thing the user is asking. All right, so we get the response, then we uh, get a response text. Now we need to extract the subroutine from the response because you know how OpenAI, it's gonna respond, reply with a bunch of other stuff like here is your code of how to make a Christmas tree. So we don't need all that. Like, so here is how we're going to deal with that. We need to find the first instance of sub. That's going to be our start position. Then we need to find the first instance of n sub. That's going to be our ending position. And now we need to use this. Uh, so then we need to use uh, this mid. And uh, mid's just like the Excel formula mid, if you've ever used it. Uh, it's essentially, we have our raw text, which is the response. And we say, start here, the sub, and then end here, or not end here, extract this many characters, like the next 10 characters. So that's what we're doing. And that's going to extract the full subroutine, inclusive of that sub and unsub. If we don't find it, we just say it's not found. All right, so next is there's this issue with the OpenAI response where it gives us these backslash ends, and that doesn't really work in VBA as a new line. So we have to replace them. Just use this replace with this VBCRLF, which is the same thing as new line. And then the other thing is we need to replace these uh, backslash is, which are like, you know, saying it's a real quote, not like the quote strings with just um, nothing. So so that that's just some 
formatting to make sure this works. And uh, this line is actually not needed, so I'll delete that. And we just finally have execute code and then converted code. So that's how you run this, uh, this subroutine from earlier in VBA. It's a little, I found it always a little confusing. Uh, you can also write call and then you can put it in brackets like this. So it should be the same thing. Um, so you can have it either way. I found that syntax always a little weird in VBA. Anyway, so up to here, we're good. So essentially we get a prompt, we extract it. So it's a script and then we pass that script, which is in the format of a string up into this subroutine, which will actually run it as if it's code. So whatever it says in that script, it will run. So you better make sure the user doesn't say something stupid, like delete all the files on this computer. Now, the next thing is we need to build the user form. So we'll go into insert and then go ahead and click user form. All right, so we're going to have a text box and then let's have some text here. All right, so just make sure to open up your uh, properties window. So we have our text box here and we'll change the caption next. Let's insert a button here. Rename this button to run. All right, so double click on your button and inside of here, we have what is gonna happen when the button is clicked. All right, so when the button is clicked, we pretty simple. We just need the user input. So we'll get that if you write me dot text box one dot value. So that gets whatever was in that text box. And we run the open AI function from earlier that we made passing in the user input. So like save that and let us go back into our module. So we only really need one more module and that one will be open form. And all we need to write here is user form one dot show. And we'll save that. All right, we can close our VBA. Let's go to macros, and then you should see an open form macro. And then we have right here our little form. And so macros run open form. And let's try this. Uh, for columns one to five, make dummy data, YouTube subscribers, and give it Pikachu style color scheme. So I wonder what that's going to do. Let's run that. Wow, that is weird looking, but it works. Clear color and data to five. Column one. Let's see what, what that does. All right, so again, 42. And um, I'm assuming this is a Fibonacci uh, number sequence. Make a couple fun graphs with data in column one. Wow, so this is really powerful. I mean, look at this. We got these two, um, two graphs that look like two, two style bar charts. Um, but yeah, how cool is this? Like you basically have the power of a VBA uh, intermediate at the very least at your fingertips and you just type in a prompt like this into Excel and it does whatever the heck you, you want it to do. It's, uh, it's pretty freaking awesome. I'm going to post the code on my GitHub and uh, please like and subscribe if you found this helpful or cool. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.